welcome back to Talking Spit After Hours. We're your hosts, TJ Bay and Alan Poe. Back once again, bringing you on up with the latest and greatest things that are going on. And today, I'm sure you can see the photographs behind us. <laughs> we will be discussing the Deshaun Watson case, or is it a case, or what do you want to call it to you? Deshaun Watson fuckery. Mm. We will be discussing that. So for the, those that don't know, um, there were no criminal charges filed against Deshaun Watson, correct? So what's happened over the past couple of weeks is that 24 women have come to light to say that, yes, he sexually harassed them. And as of recently, what was it, two days ago? Today's Thursday, so Tuesday? I believe so. He actually settled with 20 of the 24 women. So what do you think about that? The question here is, well, excuse me, like you asked earlier, man, is that is that an omission of guilt? And to me, in my opinion, that says yes. That is saying that, you know, um, because, I mean, you know what, man, just keep it one hand. If I didn't do shit, if it was me in this situation, and I know I didn't do shit, mm -hmm. I'm not settling shit. I'm not paying anybody. True. So... True. I don't care how much legal terms it like, especially if I'm an NFL player with uh, millions of dollars at my, you know, at I mean, what do you call it? Disposal? Mm -hmm. Because for this situation, um, I have millions of dollars at my disposal for this situation. My lawyers will, my lawyer, you know what I'm saying, will go for that. But the dude, Tony Busby, he's only doing this so he can get some money out of and it's just, it's just sad, man. This is all for fucking money. All the shit is for money. I mean, and I'm not just, I don't wait, let me, re, let me take that back too, because I don't want to discredit any of the women, you know, right. just in case he did do something and, you know, what, whatever. But at the same time, man, like, you know what I'm saying? If he did do something, man, don't just try to get him for money, like file criminal charges against him. Like if it was anybody else, like, Excuse me, and I and I will point this out: the two gentlemen behind this here, in their cases, you know, and everybody's case is different, but you know they got charges filed against, them, so filed charges against. Them. The difference is, with that, is that they didn't file any charges against Deshaun Watson because there were, there weren't any there were no charges to file. In other words, they didn't find anything criminal. For, in order for them to file the charges, if that makes any sense. Whereas, well, whereas in the two gentlemen that we had behind us, they were, they had evidence to where they are able to file those. The foul play and stuff. Well, then what is the point of having a civil case then? What is the point of having a civil suit being able to... Uh, <laughs> well, well, that's to get money. Being for, able to sue, that's sue to somebody. Money. Well, yeah, I mean, that's to get money for like punitive damages. Like for instance, and I hate to bring this up, but the OJ case, right? So they found OJ not guilty in court as far as criminally, but yet the family still took him to court civilly. Yeah, and took a lot of his money. But to, but that's just, that's weird because that just shows an admission of guilt. If you do look at it like that. how I mean... In because case, wait wait in which case in which scenario deshaun watson or oj simpson um because oj simpson both. went to trial and was found it, not it, guilty by his peers there's a difference deshaun watson's case never went to trial so it, he, he might look more guilty you know paying the um the victims when there were no criminal charges filed oj actually went <laughs> through trial and right peers said he's not guilty so the family, I mean, the family can still take, uh, <clears throat> take him to civil court for damages. You know what I mean? Grief. Although he was not convicted of murder. Okay, but there. What I'm saying is okay. That's understanding the court of law. I understand how that works and stuff. But I mean, just generally though, like if you're saying. If you're taking OJ to court, you're telling him like this is because of you. Now you're gonna take like I'm here because of you. 
so you're going to pay me for this now. You know, there's. Or it's basically, I think you did it. And since you got off. Right. We're going to hit you where, where it really hurts. Your it really, it, yeah. Your pockets. Which but it, but is, that, is, is that, an admission that... of guilt. I mean, it's not. No, excuse me. I don't say that. It's no, not but... an admission of guilt. It is just like saying like basically the people think that he's guilty and they were and they don't want to press charges against them. Well no. I mean well, this is Deshaun Watson's been, Okay. This is you. going back to Deshaun Watson. Okay. They he's he's guilty, but they don't want to ruin his life. So here, you know, we're gonna press your ass and shit like that, you know, and then we don't this could stain your legacy and stuff like that when it probably will, but you know, and we I, don't want to ruin you completely. But I hate to, I hate to say this. Um, God rest his soul. It's like the Kobe case, right? Where right. he went to trial and nothing came of it, but he was still stamped as that type of person. Right? So, he played his ass off to get, to gain people's respect back. You know what I mean? So True. it's it, it, it's a double edged sword. Like, okay, what if what if Deshaun didn't do this? I'm just I'm just throwing this out there. What if he didn't do what they said he did, but they falsified claims? And I take this back to when we first dropped this. What a year ago? Two years ago? I think it was a year and a half ago. Mm-hmm. None of this would have happened or come out if he still played for the Texans. Now, could the Texans be involved in having these women step forward because they're paying them under the table? I'm not going to speculate, but that's also an option as well. So in his case, let me just, whatever, man, here's take my money. It doesn't matter. Whatever. All right. Let me speak in two terms of this real quick. I see what you're saying, but I'm going to say this. Okay. (laughs) And I'm going to use the gentleman behind you as an an example. Okay. And this, the Texans are like the record labels, right? Mm -hmm. And Deshaun Watson is like Mr. Kelly there. I mean, this is just an example. I'm not saying he's really like <laughs> no, Kelly, I, or I, but I, I, we understand what you're saying. Okay, it's, it's good to make that clear for everyone else listening. Okay, so the Texans are or the real record label. Deshaun Watson's our Kelly. In my eyes, the record labels enabled him to do this stuff. They knew he had a problem, and since he was the star whether it be quarterback or R&B artist, they want him to keep bringing in the money, keep making the money, keep winning for them. So they look past it. But when he messes up or, or when he starts changing up and doing stuff different, like, you know, not, excuse me, in R. Kelly sense, singing about love, peace, you know, happiness on earth, stuff like that. And not about, you know, getting girls and sexing them up and all this stuff. Guess what? It's time to You're go. You're done. Yeah, it's, it's time, time, to, it's time go. to go. Now, Deshaun Watson's case, what you know, everybody knows what he did. He wanted to trade. So guess what? It's time for you to it's time, you <laughs> it's time for you to go. Yep. And the way you finna get traded is not the way you wanna be. <laughs> so the whole thing is like, you know, I'm it's, just it is big business. It's just it like, is music industry any big business if you have an issue they'll cover it up and sweep it under the rug until until you, until you decide to change your ways and like you know what this ain't cool man let me let me switch it up oh really oh, you, oh okay you want to switch it up they they bring out the big black folder like yeah, we gonna switch it up on you you want to get it switched up like this yeah. this is how you want to switch it like okay, you better stay in your place and keep doing what you're doing because this little folder right here has everything your ass done did. And it's definitely it seems to me like it's blackmail. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. 
to me. To me. I mean, because I mean, the I mean, the Texans gave him an NDA to pass out, right? So what I'm saying is, okay, this is what I'm saying. There's an NDA, okay? With the NDA, the opposite party has to sign that NDA for anything to even take place or even to occur, correct? True. So if there's don't a, look your, don't look around because I'm gonna tell you right no, now. No, no, baby. no. What I'm saying. Wait, if, oh, wait. If, okay, go a, ahead. If there's a legally a binding a legally binding agreement, right, between two parties, and you signed it. It's like signing a contract, you know, being being a musician. It's like signing a contract, right? So you're on the label. They're not pushing you. But guess what? You didn't sell that many records. You still owe money. Until you make that money back, you're broke. You signed a contract. So, so you signed a contract. So my question is, how did that go from them signing a contract to sexual abuse? And I'm not trying to fight on his side, but I'm trying to portray or or bring both ideas or or, or both objects or whatever to the table. You know what I'm saying? Their their point and the victim's point. So if there's an NDA being presented, you don't have to sign that. You say, "Oh no, I'm good," and, and leave, right? Yeah, you could. But at the same time, this is where the victim and the prey falls in the thing. He's the starting quarterback for an NFL franchise team. He makes millions of dollars. And he has probably other people like, you know, some of these girls, and I'm not, uh, and I'm I'm just putting this, this as a hypothetical, you know what I'm saying? Women. Some of, the, some of these say. women, some of these women, Okay, are probably aspiring to do other things in life, you know, maybe build their business, grow, you know, something like that, whatever. And sure. having Deshaun Watson as a client, you know, maybe he would, oh, I did a great job, a great job on him. Uh, let me, he'll probably give me a referral to, you know, some other people and then I, my business will grow. Now, the NDA, I will say this, man, uh, I've come to know that. A lot of people don't really like say if you had say if you was say if you was if we was some big people, right? Mm -hmm. We were bigger people. And and we wanted to uh, we went to a show or something or like a concert and we were able to be on stage and stuff like that or be backstage with the group or whoever the big person artist is right now we wanted to bring you know say somebody back to our families whatever whoever and they was like well you need to sign this nda in order for you know to, for you to be able to go back there and meet this person okay now who no telling who if say your family member whoever is this is their favorite person in the world you know they're like okay i don't that nda okay fine whatever i'll sign it bam they sign it and guess what i'm just thinking i'm gonna meet so and so you know what i'm saying i'm ready to meet so and so you get back there and Wow, this is a whole different ball game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're going to meet You see some so. candles there. You see some candles burning in the corner there. You know, some elegant music playing. You know, some some uh, incense burning and shit. You know, a, a bed right there. You know what I'm saying? He's like, wait, 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 wait. Hey, hold on. Like, hey, what the bed for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, like, and you get back there and there's some shit that you totally was not expecting, man. So you're going to be like, I didn't sign okay. up for this. Okay. Yeah, right. I did not sign up for this. But at the same time, in your head is like, and then you got this man probably sitting there pushing, like, hey, I'll give you twenty five thousand dollars right now. If you just just massage me. And they like, okay, you know what? I probably need the money. I probably do. And I'm not saying that in a bad way, you know. People, you know. Like a day probably got some bills to pay or something. So, okay, they commence. Then the nigga do some weird shit and he turn over because he, he takes and he pull, and he open his towel and he's like, <laughs> like Ta -da. okay, yeah, like, dun, 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 like, right? <laughs> so, so 
so what do you so now they're in a rock between a hard place you know what i'm saying so on, what guys. do you do because now you either you do run out most of them I'm, and i'm telling you like okay it's not a criminal thing that's not criminal right there but that's just like like what the fuck you know what i'm saying okay i see where i see where this but i see where that all right, I see where the criminal, I mean, criminal and civil between the thing right now. Because if that was to happen, they could have walked out and be like, man, you a nasty motherfucker, I'm gone. And guess what? You will, I will see you in court for this. Right. Only problem is they, well, those who did, they signed an NDA. So, okay, think about this, though. How many of them signed the NDA? So only 24 came out. True. And wait, 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 wait. So, so that's, how many that's more- so okay. How more, so how many more signed the NDA? That's why I haven't come out yet because they signed it. All right. But another thing too, let's not act like this is normal, cause like let's not just act like you know. Okay, we're talking. We're it actually sounds like we're talking about like this is uh, you know what I'm saying this is some shit that people do every day and shit like that. But well, no, uh, well, this okay. nigga they, the closet freak came out the closet. We know now. New York Times reported there were 66 women. We don't know if that's the, you know, of, if that's the actual amount, if it's more or less. But still, in that sense, 66 different women that you want to get massaged by and shit like that. You don't even say like, man. And the only reason they use massage and shit like that because it's uh, what is that uh, publicly correct or you know is mm-hmm. it, it's right. Okay, but put it like this though. You know, damn well that nigga didn't want no massage. Oh yeah, he did want a massage, but he wanted to, like you said, get the little happy ending after too. <laughs> but my point is, is that you say don't speak about it like it's every day. We don't know that because we don't live that life. We don't live that that rich life. So who knows what goes on with the billionaires? Look at uh, Epstein. What happened with him? No, oh, okay. Well, right. But so yeah, we we would never fa- we would never I'm we would never hold on we would never fathom right. that because we don't live that life. So let's say if you were a billionaire, right? Think of all the opportunities or all the things you can do with your life, with your money, and think about everything that comes with that: homes, vacations, groupies alike. So if you're in that position, how many groupies do you think? And I'm not saying that all women are groupies. What I'm saying is. There are some. So, how many groupies do you think might approach you with an opposition? Oh, I'm sorry, with a proposition, like, "Hey, my name's such and such, and I'm just here to have a good time." Then, then it would have reported that he that these women sought him out. The report said that he sought these women out. So that makes the story totally like you know different now, because if. I'm sure he does get a lot of women in his DMs like, hey, you know what I'm saying, yada, 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 whatever, you know, and he doesn't, I'm going to just keep it 100. All right, let me just say something. If you go to a club and you see a girl who's dancing all over everybody, you know she went home with, you know, she went to the club, what, three nights in the week, in that week. She went home with three different dudes and shit like that. And now it's your turn to see all up on you. What are you going to do? Are you going to take her home too, just like everybody else? No, yeah. not me. I'm going to be like, Ugh, you nasty. <laughs> yeah, so like, you know what I'm saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. But are you a witness to seeing this or is it being reported that she went to the club three nights a week? Um, And then men too. Men are hoes as well, but right but the true but i'm just talking in the sense of but, you know what I, but what i'm saying is did you were you at the club three nights and you saw her there three nights and you saw her, her go home with three different dudes three different nights or are you at the club that one night you don't even know who she is and you met her and then you took her home well this is the see this is the thing how about this you're at the club the third night and you see her take a dude home, okay? And then the fourth night, or which is the next weekend, then she comes to you. And then before that, someone comes to you and says like, hey, I wouldn't talk to her, man, last weekend she was with 
three other dudes. Now, you already know in your head, she you seen her with one dude already. Mm-hmm. And now it's your turn because it's the next weekend. I mean, if you were free, then, you know, by all means, go right ahead. Yeah, but. <laughs> but if you, you know, I mean, if you're not, I mean, you know what I'm saying? If you're not and you don't like that stuff, then you're going to be like, hey, there's too much question in my head for me to sit here and think that you didn't, you didn't go home with three other dudes last week. My, so, thing, is, my thing is, I think of the variables for one. So the guy who came up to you, do you know him personally? Or he's just like, hey, man, don't talk to her, right? Do, do you know him or or is he just it doesn't right? matter now it doesn't matter now because i already seen that one dude last week i i confirmed that she went home with one dude but okay but let's say if he wanted a shot at her so he was just hating just so she won't talk to you there's already too many questions in my head you know by all means pimp, right. go right ahead <laughs> help yourself <laughs> go right ahead <laughs> and that's how I, i'm just saying like that's how i work Right. You know what I'm saying? That's how I work. And there's other people that, you know what I'm saying? Like Deshaun ain't free. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he's wired a little differently. You know what I'm saying? He got the little freak in because, like, he going on Instagram. He looking through the pictures and shit like that. He see some some little cutie. You know, she talking about, oh, I'm a massage the aspiring massage therapist. Oh, and I'm a shark. And that's she in the water right now. She, you know what I'm saying? She in the water bleeding right now. Let me get it. You know what I'm saying? That's predatory behavior, man. Let's keep it 100. That's predatory behavior. That's that's not freaky, actually. It's, it's disturbing. It's like, I mean, I... And I don't I give a know, damn. I wouldn't know anything about it. It's, it's one of those things where, t- to me, it's it seems like he had the keys to the city and then once he went to the mayor's office it was like hey i'm, I'm moving the mayor was like say what say what uh, <laughs> uh, yeah you know you got some back taxes you gotta pay for no they asked me you sure you sure you want to go man <laughs> yeah you know what yeah, i'm out man oh, okay you sure okay all right man all right, well dude. we wish you the best Take this. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> we gonna give you a lash, this boy. Hit, hit the nigga like. <laughs> you know, yeah. blew this whole world up. Yeah, but just everything. Just, man. It's crazy, though. That, that. But the whole thing is, man, like, you could have prevented this by not doing I mean, just like, like, bruh. Like, come on, man, with 66 different women. And then now everybody's thinking in their heads now. It's like, yeah, if it's 66, there got to be more. Yeah. Right. And I don't, and I'm not telling, I don't know, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But to me now, just like everything, I'm just like, good Lord, 66 guys in a year and a half. And then, you know, there's no telling, man. Like, there's no telling. Like, I got I, you can't get in the dude's head and think about it and you know know what he's thinking, but come on, man. Like I, I know there it it, it had I'ma just keep it in my opinion, in my thought process, I think it was over like it has to be over like hundred and fifty. I think he's a serial Instagrammer who went on there. Okay. And okay. went on now, there and hold on now. Now, now you're bringing in a new element, Instagram. Right. How many massage therapists or how many people of business do you know who have Instagram accounts, right? Right? A lot. Okay. Right. Now, how many of those professionals post photographs that are provocative or or tantalizing or eye-catching? I don't, I mean, as far as the business goes, none. So were they really massage therapists or were they just, I don't know, the, or, or were they just females? He flew out and they thought there might be something more. See, you know what, man, we're done with this episode because I, I don't want to get into it too much. 
Cause I can well, yeah, there's a, like you said, like you said, there's hypotheticals to this. To everything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, to every question, anything we think of, there's always going to be hypotheticals. What if? What if? The only person, the only person that actually really knows what happened is are these these very, very, very. I mean, a, a lot. I mean, good lord, a lot. These women, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these women and Deshaun Watson. Oh. True. I mean, the whole situation to me is just to last. <laughs> Boo boo. So we'll see. We'll 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 check it out more and see see what happens, see what comes about. But you know, like I said, there's but down. Right. Yeah. Go go ahead, my bad. I'll just say, but you know, w- the the public will never know unless what's being told to us and what's being told to us it can paint a light in in different fashions that's all i'm saying so true if you know the facts you know the facts get all get all the info you can and make your decision from there you just can't go off what you see on tv excuse me damn but i will say this man i ain't trying to put the brother down or anything though man but the way I see from his behavior, I wouldn't be surprised if, like I said, if it gets reported that he did this shit to over like 150 women. And ugh, let's just call a spade a spade, man. Because right. that, that's, that is unheard of. Like, I mean, even, I don't care, man. I ain't never heard no shit like that, man. None of my homies, you know, I've never seen no, no, just regular dude on just, I mean, I seen thirsty dudes on people's profiles and shit, you know what I'm saying? Commenting, you know, whatever, whatever, but yeah, we should just leave this alone. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll, never, we'll, <laughs> we'll wait for the know. reports to come out. Yeah, it's just our and then opinion. we'll react to it. Just our this opinion. Is, so, yeah, this is pure opinion. But I hope the all the women in the case, you know, do get settled, and you know, it doesn't traumatize them for the future if anything did happen, or anything, fat, any foul play did happen. And I hope Deshaun Watson, if he does have a problem, and if you know it, this man gets some help, you know, immediately. Because you don't want it to trickle down and get into something a little bit, you know, some some shit more. I mean, more heinous shit. So definitely. Well, I mean, everyone has their vice, man. Like everyone has an addiction. Doesn't matter what it is. It could be art. It could right. be alcohol. It could be drugs. It could be cooking. Everyone has an addiction, which which they go to at all times. So right. If he has a sex addiction, then yes, he needs help. But anyone, you know, I mean, anything that's dangerous to you or can harm anyone else, you definitely need to seek out help. Right. And I don't know. Is, and if he actually does have, like it says, a wife or a girlfriend, like, like damn, man, like. Well, I mean. <laughs> good Lord. I wonder how she feels about this. Titan, you know that that's another uh, tree trunk that we shouldn't step on because <laughs> right. there's there's couples that they freak, allow it, they free, yeah. So who they could be there, or, you know what I mean? Like who knows? Yeah, people do some strange things for a piece of change. <laughs> <laughs> right. Or just because they want to feel good. Make me feel good. Make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe Holly Berry did that. Old wrinkly ass Billy Bob Thornton. That shit was crazy. But anyway. All right, man. Let's close this up. You ready? Take it to the bridge. TJ Bay and Alan Poe. If you like it, you like it. If you love it, you love it. We love y'all. Peace. Peace. But save all the applause for, you know what I'm saying, that because we appreciate it, though. 
Oh, okay. So do, do the applause now. Uh, yeah, you turn it up so people can hear us. Oh, okay. Thank you. Encore? For us? Encore? No, 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 no. You're doing way too much. You're doing way too much. And with that, hey, we out, man. Peace.